head over to this gorgeous little island and anchor up for the day and do a bit of water activities. The island that we're on, isn't that insane? We just have to make the most of the time that we are out here because I don't know if we'll ever be coming back here. He's back, what have you got? Get out! What have you got? It is blowing. It's about 30 knots from the southeast. Benita, that's Yosh, and this is A Sailor in the Making, Tallulah May. For six years now, we've been sailing around the world on our 40 foot sailboat Nanji. Subscribe to the channel and join us as we sail through remote Indonesia. Welcome to paradise. It's day number three of being out at a super remote atoll in Indonesia. There is not many people know about this place. It is pretty hard to get to and uh, we're the only people here. So we've got this whole place to ourselves. It's absolutely incredible out here. The fish and the marine life is insane, um, especially like the reef and the corals very healthy looking. So it's just really nice to be here and experience this. We are really exposed where we are. And last night we had quite a lot of wind kick up. We were rocking and rolling and it is a pretty nerve wracking place to be, um, especially when bad weather comes through because like I said, we are really exposed and we're completely surrounded by reef as well. So to get out of here, if we had a situation at nighttime where we were dragging anchor or something and we just wanted to leave it would be a very stressful time especially trying to navigate through the reef and out again when you have bad weather so we're going to um, head over to this gorgeous little island which is part of this asshole and anchor up for the day and just uh, do a bit of water activities and things like that we just have to make the most of the time that we are out here because I don't know if we'll ever be coming back here <laughs> The sunlight is hitting the water at an angle that makes it really, really glary. It's really hard to see very far in front of me, but um, I'm just up on the bow, making sure that we don't hit any reef. Yosh has the charts and also um, satellite images as well. Going as fast as we want to hit something, which is really, really slow. Easy does it. deep water out of the side and then it shoals up to this bit of a sandy key but it's reef at the back and there's a steep two drop off but it's only going to be a daytime anchorage. The wind's from the east and I think it's a little bit from the north as it wraps around this island so we'll just move down here, I'll spin around, we should be tucked up right in the corner. Yeah we won't be too far away. Nah, nah it'll be perfect, I don't think the weather's going to get bad at all. Alright, so this is the anchorage island that we're on. Isn't that insane? That's where we are. So amazing. the other episodes of this place I'll put a card link up here so just click on them be sure to watch them it's once in a lifetime kind of opportunity to come here and we want to bring you guys along as well for the whole journey so please enjoy those videos as well let's get on with the day here comes the drone <laughs> yeah. 
You get some good shots. It looks so good from up there, eh? We yeah. shared wings sometimes because it just looks so sick. Yeah. Alright, let's get underwater because it's pretty cool down there too. Above and below the surface. Put up a fire. Wow, that's awesome. That's what you want, right? Yeah, it's so good. Steaked. <laughs> Woo! That's good. Nice one. You want kebabs or? Yeah, fish kebabs for sure. Fish kebabs. That's a, that's a shimmy. Yeah, that's a bit yuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, I can't do. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, nice one. Oh, so stoked. So good, man. That's what we come down here for is to get like these fish, you know, the elusive doggy. It's not like he's a massive one, which would have been amazing, but man, I'm just stoked we got a new doggo! Yeah! Tuna's delicious. Amazing. Oh, amazing so fish. Good. Dad and his dog. <laughs> and his cannon. <laughs> got his gun. <laughs> his fish. But what does he carry in his man bag? Tampon. <laughs> <laughs> and a dummy. I'm not afraid that I, to say that I carry a man bag these days and inside that man bag I have a dummy and a tampon. <laughs> but you like to spear with your cannon. But I got my gun and my doggy. <laughs> oh dog tooth tuna. They're just like every spear fisherman's dream fish to go hunt and shoot. They're such a hard fighting fish. They're hard fish to shoot. They're like they're pretty rare. Um, they grow massive. They're really they're normally in deep water, and but sort of hang around the reef sort of edge. So uh, I was sort of I know I was in 20 meters next to a ledge that was about 50 meters. So kind of you know you, the idea is to try to get them up out of the deep, so you can get down deep enough to shoot them. I had a pretty good little system going on at the end there with the, uh, the flasher tied to the flow and then I was just chumming. And then, yeah, so he came straight up into the burly trail, straight to the flasher, so I could dive down to the flasher and got in. If you ask Benita, I've probably gone a little bit dog tooth tuna crazy, a little bit crazy. Uh, for the past, I don't know, maybe pro probably the past six months, I've gone a little bit bonkers about chasing dog tooth tuna. And they could say that, they have driven us to sail to remote areas. <laughs> uh, it's just it's just such a rewarding feeling shooting one of these fish. Like a lot of pelagic sort of fish, they have a, a pin bone that runs through the middle of them, like their bloodline. So I just cut off the side of that. And I'll skin it. We've got our two bits of meat. All right, so doggy is clean. We're gonna get five meals out of that fish. Five. So here I am wanting to shoot bigger fish, but man, if we shoot bigger fish, we've got nowhere to put it. Considering there's still two packs of coral trout in the freezer, we'll be able to fill up the freezer now with these three packs, and we'll be able to keep that, oh, there's other few bits of filler out, and we'll eat them tonight and tomorrow. So, whew, fish on fish on fish. 
We only just finished eating that massive mangrove jack straight in the coral trout, <laughs> straight into this doggy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love it when the boat is full of fish. Bonita feels rich when the boat's full of food. As long as we're catching fish, I feel like the richest man in the world. Oh well, Dad's had his fun for the day. Boat's getting all packed up now, and but Mum's got to have to play. What do you want to do, Mum? Uh, I think I just want to do bombs off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> bombs off the boat. What a woman. night we went to bed to a really glassy beautiful evening and as the night progressed it just started the wind started to pick up and get windier and windier and this morning the wind is absolutely howling from the southeast so we are rocking and rolling and uh, the sky looks absolutely miserable <laughs> so despite the weather uh, we still can have an amazing time um, so let's just get on with the day Good morning Yosh It looks like the wind has swung more south and uh, it's, it has backed off a little bit. So that's a good sign, but hopefully this just all passes over us and <laughs> we can get on with our day. Oh, wow, good morning. It is blowing. Man, I'm glad that we put that effort in last night. Once we got back after eating dinner on the beach, just to make sure that the boat was just ready, ready for anything, you know? So we had a lot of tidying up, a lot of organizing to finish off. It took us a couple of hours, but you know, this is why you do it because, yeah, you could have you could have mistakenly just been like, ah, oh, it's so calm last night and just leave the tender down and leave all the shit in the tender. But you know, well, I was up at 4 a.m. and it was glassy and then now at 6.30 a.m. It is blowing. Uh, we are in a good little hole and it is blowing from the southeast, which is uh, surprising. It's blowing 30 knots from the southeast. Here we were worried about any weather coming from the northwest, but man, we're sort of, we're not right tucked away in behind the island, so we do have a bit of fetch that's built up through the lagoon. It's probably half a metre seas, so we are bouncing up and down a bit. But we're safe. We chose this spot because there is plenty of room around us and for coral bombies and stuff like that. We've got 70 metres of chain out in 10 metres, so it's not like we're going to drag. Saw a bit of sunshine through the house, so we thought we'd come out and check on the day's proceedings. It's now 9 a.m. Hey, little bug, but uh, the sun is shining currently, and it's really bloody bright. But we got a couple of big more squillards coming, but it is nice and cut, clear, pretty well everywhere else. So I think this might be the last of it this morning, and we'll be able to go exploring once again. This place is amazing. Just, just putting it out there. This joint is amazing. Oh yeah, round two, baby. <laughs> yeah, Rockstar. Yeah. We're trying to time a dive in between all of these squalls. Thought we had a little bit of time, but there's another beast that's coming. It's just relentless today. That out. We might just have to wait 20 and see what happens and then try again. All right, well, what a relentless morning. But finally, that sun is out. 
We've got a lot of blue sky action. There's a bit of clouds out to the north, but I think that's just everything that's blowing through from the south. So all our weather came from the southeast, or it's sort of blowing through, which is a bit strange, but it goes to show you how far south we are. We must be getting real close to the trades and near the old ITCs, ITCZ intertropical convergence zones, which brings a lot of that sort of squally sort of weather. Man, it's sort of, it's dropping out. It's getting heaps lighter. I was a bit worried because this wind has gone around to the north more, but uh, it's backed off a bit and we it's straight out of the east. So uh, we still have some protection from the east. From the north, we're pretty open. But the wind's from the east. The sky is blue. The sun is shining. Finally, let's go out and play. Yeah, you getting ready? I know, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. You gonna put your bathers on? Ah. Yes. It's starting to it's like- glassed out. Glass out now, so it's turning it on. It's, it's banging it on. It's going to be sick, Abby. <laughs> All right, mom, you're up first. We're gonna take you snorkeling. Okay, so we, um, it's kind of hard to see where all the reef is and everything because it's so overcast. So we got the iPad, it's got um, an app on it that has satellite images and it shows our position on the satellite image. So we can see where all of the um, little reefs and bombies are. Yeah, we kind of tell what looks really good yeah. and worth diving and where we should go having a look. So. Yeah. Yeah, what's the app called that you're using? Oh, this is Guru Maps, this yeah. one. Guru Maps, so yeah. <laughs> While Yosh enjoys spearfishing, it's more the reef and the little critters that I like to go searching for. It's a whole other world below the surface and one that always bewilders me. The wind had stirred up the lagoon making the water a little bit murky, but the reef looked great and there was an abundance of marine life to see. I especially like finding the giant clams as they're often eaten by the locals and therefore pr pretty rare to find. So um, this one's pretty big, but I, I want to find a bigger one <laughs> one day. I've just come back from my dive. Yosh has gone out adventuring and I've been trying to work out what I'm gonna do with this huge pumpkin that I bought in Sticky Cap. It's, it's massive and obviously I've cracked it now, but I knew that once I cracked it, I had to figure out what I was gonna do with the whole thing so I didn't waste any of it. And today's the day. So I've decided I'm gonna make pumpkin scones, which is gonna be a nice little treat for after activities and also the sour back to Sticky Cap. So yeah, I'm sure that once Josh starts to smell those scones in the oven, he's gonna come racing back as well. No bakeries out here, so. <laughs> We've been away from reception. It's been about a week and a half without reception. Um, so I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Delilah's on the cappuccinos. Can I please have a soy flat white, please? Come it up. I've just steamed uh, some pumpkin. It's about, it's gonna end up being about a cup of steamed pumpkin and then I'm gonna add that to the mixture. Two cups of plain flour, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder, cut in two tablespoons of butter. Did you wanna help with this one? <laughs> this is fun. You need to wash your hands first, Missy Lou. <laughs> Yummy! So I kneaded the dough lightly, very lightly, and then um, just put them into balls and chuck them in the oven for about 15 minutes. And yeah, this is them. Lulu wants them. You want a scone, Bubba? Are we scone? Oh, hi, you did a thing. <laughs> I did the thing. Mm. Keep you around. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Pretty good? Well, after the morning we had, who would have thought we'd have a full Gary glass off like this? 
Man, it's just stunning again this evening. Yeah, the sky's nice and clear. That moon's looking pretty full, which is a good sign. But yeah, it's nice and calm again now. It's a little gentle easterly breeze still blowing, so uh, that's perfect. Can't complain at all. Lovely afternoon in the end. Benita got to do some diving. I went out for a quick little spear, but came home with nothing. Probably just eat scones and coral trout for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see what the weather brings tomorrow. Hopefully maybe get a bit of a dive in in the morning and then I think we might need to get out of here tomorrow but we'll just see what the weather does. another episode guys we hope you enjoyed this one what an epic place um, a huge thank you to our patreons for making these videos possible our newest patreons are andrew and roger cheers legends if you'd like to join them as well there's a link down below and um, you can help support this channel for less than three dollars a month so pretty cool and it helps keep us filming and floating see you in the next one if you haven't already subscribe to the channel 